I'm Logan Gunderson, um, junior biosec major, president of the UNL Curling Club. I'm originally from Wausau, Wisconsin, about the center of the state. In Wisconsin, high school curling is a varsity sport. So I curled from freshman year through senior year of high school, um, state tournaments, uh, a couple times for the what they call the state playdowns. Um, so I've done it for a while before college. The curling team actually is the reason I'm here. I was little story, I was about to accept my admission to University of Tennessee, and then I looked to see how their curling team was doing. I found out that they disbanded their program, and that night I switched my acceptance to Nebraska. So the idea of the sport is four people on one team, two teams are playing against each other. You're sliding rocks, uh, stones, 42 pounds of Scottish blue granite um, into a house, which is a set of rings, and there are certain rules that apply as, like, boundary lines and when you can sweep and what shots you can call when coming here where people don't really know what it is you have to explain it every time everybody says oh is that the one that's in the olympics or whatever so i've only ever seen curling on tv during the olympics and i thought yeah i'm out here at least during one of my four years of college and check out the you know curling club see what it's all about and see it in person it's pretty cool so i wish i could be out there right now um it's definitely different but it's a very home field in the club where people are kind of accepted just for liking the sport and that's all that's all that matters as long as you like curling. It's just a really unique atmosphere in sports with um, the traditional ones, football, baseball and whatnot. It's very confrontational between opponents, but this one there's an under like a mutually understood rule that you're just it's a gentleman's game. That's what they call it sometimes a gentleman's game. So the tradition is you shake hands before and after games, uh, you meet after games, you share a meal, you talk about it for an hour, however long you want, um, play games and do whatever. So it's very much a community type sport and that's really what drew me to it the most. As I'm pursuing my further education and career later on, I wanna to go to a city that has a club, a strong basis in curling, cause that's what I do to get away from regular life. Um, it helps me just relax and not have to focus on school or whatever. Um, so that's definitely in the future for me. And you can play until you're 80. There's really no limit to how long you can play the sport, so why not look for that? The foundation of our club is that anyone can curl and we want everyone to curl, so we don't require any experience. You can be on the team. There's not like an application. The only tryout is just to be on the team that competes and travels across the country, but you can be on the team and just practice and learn how to curl. On our nationals team this year that's going, three out of the five had not curled before they came to Nebraska. So there's really no limit to what you can do. You don't have to know about the sport. We just use, like the, some of us that have prior experience, we use that to teach others. If you're watching this and you're interested in curling, definitely give it a try when you're in college or any other time in your life.